So what does it actually cost to buy a home in Winston-Salem, North Carolina? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be breaking that down. My name is Ramon Lomelli, I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas. As you may or may not already know, Winston-Salem historically has been cheaper than not only the homes in North Carolina on average, but also the national average. For example, right now, the average cost to buy a home in the nation is about $417,000, however, in South County, which is the county that Winston-Salem is in, the average home price is only $324,000. Now, honestly, even then, it seems a little high. I know that you can get a really good home under three hundred, dollars including new construction and all kinds of other cool stuff. However, that is what the numbers are telling us. But I wanted to make this video because I know that the thought of buying a home can be quite overwhelming, especially when there are so many unknowns and different things to consider and you don't even know how much money you're gonna need. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how much money you're gonna need both upfront and at the closing table. Now, fair warning, I am not a lender and these are very generic, very broad numbers. I'm not giving you any specifics. These are not to be you know, taken at, at value. These are just very ballpark generic numbers. Uh, and it, it does come from a place of like, these are the numbers that I see on a daily basis when people are getting to the closing table and, and getting their closing estimates. But honestly, there are so many variables, but I wanted to give you an idea to be fair, but there are a lot of variables out there when it comes to these numbers. How much your deposit was, what interest date, what day you're closing on, what kind of loan, obviously the purchase price, what kind of inspections you do, if, if you do an appraisal, there are so many variables that uh, it may or may not be accurate to your situation, but these are more ballpark, generally speaking, kind of what I see here, give you an idea of what you can expect. You also have to consider that loans have a lot of different down payments. Some of them are zero, sometimes there's housing. You also have to consider that every single loan out there has a different down payment. It could be zero, it could be three, it could be three and a half, it could be five, it could be 10, it could be 25% down. Or you may, even though the loan only requires three, you may want to put five or 10 or 15 or 20% down. Also, there's government assistance programs that may help you purchase your first home or help you purchase uh, with a portion or all of your down payment and even your closing costs. Also taxes, fees, homeowners insurance, there's a lot of factors that come into play here. And the way that I'm gonna break this down for you is gonna be by type of home. So first I'm gonna tell you on average for a new construction home, on average for a single family home, on average for a town home, for a manufactured home, condo, you get the idea. So far this year in Forsyth County alone, over 800 properties have already sold. The average price there being $325,000 roundabout. And obviously there's extreme outliers. The cheapest so far this year has been under $60,000. The most expensive so far, over 1.5 million. For these examples, I'm gonna use FHA as the uh, example loan because that requires a three and a half percent down. It could, you know, your loan could vary. It could be more, it could be less. But FHA seems to be one of the most common loan types that we see at least around here. And closing costs can, like I said, they can vary widely, but I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, they say anywhere from one to 2% is usually what you can expect to bring to the closing table. And that's at the, based on the average price ranges. So this wouldn't apply if your home is under 100,000 or like over 500,000. But in the average price points in this area, you're typically looking at one to 2%. So let's use one and a half. Also keep in mind, very popular NC Housing Down Payment Assistance Program for first time home buyers is available if you have a 640 credit score or better. So that's gonna take care of basically wiping out any money that you'd be owing at the end of the day uh, in these situations. So keeping that in mind, even though I'm giving you these numbers, you may not have to pay anything if you qualify for certain down payment assistance programs, such as the first time home buyer, North Carolina down payment assistance program. So to give you an example, the average price, three bedroom, two bath, single family home, based on the averages, we've sold 181 of those so far this year. And the average price point for that was about about $291,000. On average, this style of home lasted about 31 days on the market. That tells me that, hey, we might even be able to squeeze some closing costs out of the seller or maybe a little bit of a price reduction, maybe both if we're lucky. So at $291,771, your closing costs are gonna be around $4,376. Now closing costs is gonna be the attorney fees, the document preparation fees, the taxes. Uh, it's gonna be your deed prep, your doc prep, your notary fee, all the fees, the taxes, inspections get paid at closing. So if you did a home inspection, a radon test, a well test, if applicable, 
a pest inspection, any kind of structural report that you did for the home, all that is typically paid at closing. So these closing costs would take care of a lot of fees that add up to this figure. The other large number that you're gonna have to think about or worry about at closing is gonna be your down payment. Now, like I said, for this example, we're using an FHA loan, it could be less with conventional, it could be less if you use like a USDA or a VA loan. It could be more if you wanna do, uh, you know, pay off the home a little bit quicker or use a different loan type that might have other benefits. But for this example, FHA, three and a half percent down, that equals $10,211. So at the closing table for an almost $300,000 home, you're looking at bringing around $14,587. To go to the like I said, once again, ballpark, very, very generic numbers. I don't want you to take this and say, you know, this is where Ramon told me, this is just a very generic uh, explanation. And once again, if you use that NC Housing First Time Home Buyer Program, you are gonna get $15,000 from the state. Now there's other, uh, you know, things to worry about there as far as like, do you have to ever pay that money back? What's the benefits of using it? What are the cons of using it? We're, we can have that conversation. But if you did use that loan, you wouldn't have to essentially bring anything to the closing table. So around $15,000 would be the closing cost and down payment. However, up front, there are some other things you gotta worry about, like your deposit, your due diligence fee, and also uh, certain home inspections or the appraisal might be required to be paid up front. At $300,000, obviously everything's negotiable. You're probably gonna need $1,500 due diligence fee, maybe $1,000 deposit, so that's $2,500. And typically, if it's in the city, you don't have to worry about a well or a septic tank. However, you do want to make sure that home gets appraised and the bank usually makes you appraise the home, which is going to be another $600 fee, usually four to 600, maybe seven. So 2,500 plus an appraisal. Now keep in mind that both the due diligence fee in North Carolina, by the way, I get a lot of questions about what a due diligence fee is. I can explain that in a quick text or phone call if you have any questions about it. But uh, with the due diligence fee and the earnest money deposit, we are looking at about 2,500 plus the appraisal about 600. So $3,100 up front. Now keep in mind that the earnest money and due diligence fee do get applied to your closing costs. So you'd be bringing less that money at closing if that makes sense. What about a townhome? How much would the closing cost or what would I need to bring to the closing table if I were to uh, purchase a townhome? Thankfully, townhomes are a little bit cheaper, significantly cheaper in the Winston-Salem area, and they're building a ton all over the place. So far this year, we've sold about 71 of them, and $258,000 roundabout seems to be the average price point. They're lasting about 28 days in the market, so similar to the you know single-family homes, and that again tells me that we can probably ask for some closing costs. We can probably ask for a little bit of discount off the price of the home. Maybe we can ask them to paint or something like that. So according to my calculations, again, very generic ballpark figure here, at a purchase price of $258,607, your closing cost would be about $3,879, and your down payment would be right around $9,051. Now, once again, earnest money, due diligence, people will talk about that after. But that brings your total to bring to the closing table at about $12,930. So a little bit less and tax Townhomes do qualify for that NC Housing first time home buyer down payment assistance. So you'd basically be walking into the closing table with no money and getting keys while you walk out. And that NC Housing first time home buyer program does apply to townhomes as well. So you'd be able to walk into the closing table, sign a couple papers and walk out with your keys. Now, like I said up front, there are some fees. So once again, you're probably looking at a for something in this price range, mid 200s, we're probably looking at a thousand dollar earnest money, thousand dollar due diligence fee, negotiable, could be more, could be less, it's whatever we negotiate. Typically it's what I see though, about $2,000. So we subtract that from the total at due at closing and also your appraisal. Now your appraisal doesn't get subtracted because it's a, a fee, a service that you pay for. It's a fee for a service that you are doing because you want to see what the home is worth to make sure it's worth what, what you're offering. So you're only really worried about $2,000 up front and ten dollars to $11,000 at the closing table. Certain loan programs are going to take care of that money for you or a portion of that money for you. Or like I said, maybe we can get some closing costs from the seller to help alleviate that and that way you don't have to use any kind of special financing programs. Now, one thing that I've seen gain some traction lately, especially because of the prices, are going to be manufactured homes. See, manufactured homes have always been popular because they're typically more affordable and they typically come with a little bit of land. Now, typically you are talking about something a little outside of the city, a little bit more rural. That's why you can you know, afford a little bit more land and have a home there. And honestly, what I see mostly with uh, manufactured homes is they're at least gonna be sitting on a half an acre plus. So you're getting quite a bit of land typically. Now, based on our sales this year, uh, the manufactured homes are averaging around $140,000. So those same numbers would typically apply whether you're looking at a single family home or a manufactured home. But let's just say that 
you're buying a manufactured home for $140,000, sorry, $144,86. So assuming you're buying a manufactured home at $140,486, you can expect your closing cost to be about $2,107. Down payment's gonna be around $4,917. So now we're getting to the closing table a lot cheaper, $8,074-ish is what I'm calculating once again using an FHA loan. And by the way, not all manufacturers will qualify for a certain loan type, so it gets a little hairy the older they get but based on the condition. Sometimes they even have too much land and the land is worth more than the home and banks have a problem with that as well. So we gotta be careful with manufactured homes, but around $8,074 is what you're looking to bring to the closing table unless, once again, you qualify for one of those down payment assistance programs we get the seller to pay some of the closing costs, if not all. And once again, you're typically gonna be bringing some money up front and that would subtract from the total price at the end of the day. So on a purchase price of around $140,000, I'm typically seeing that a deposit will be a due diligence fee around $1,000 and earnest money maybe $500, so $1,500 subtracted from that. So up front, you're gonna be bringing that $1,500, earnest money, due diligence fee, and a $600, let's call it appraisal fee. So about $2,100 up front, and then you're gonna be bringing about 6,000 to the closing table. And you're not gonna believe this, for a manufactured home, your approximate closing cost, like I said, ballpark figures don't hold me to these, but we're probably looking in the neighborhood of $7,000. Now we're gonna talk about condos. Condos have also become very popular lately. The average price of condos in this area is around $250,000. That's because a lot of them are gonna be brand new and it's really highly sought after, trendy, niche areas like downtown Winston-Salem. There are quite affordable ones as well, but let's just assume that uh, the average price point around $253,000. Once again, we're using an FHA loan, 3.5% down. That means our closing costs are gonna be around $3,805, and our down payment is gonna be $8,879. $253,000 price range, we're probably bringing a $1,500 due diligence fee, $1,000 earnest money, uh, so that's $2,500 plus your $600 appraisal. So you're gonna be bringing $3,100 up front and you're gonna subtract 2,500 of that from the total closing cost. For these condos, you're probably looking at bringing around $12,684 to the closing table. Rough estimate, approximate estimate. Now, once again, I'll repeat it every time if I have to. The first time home buyer down pays this program can qualify to can be used rather to cover all of your closing costs and down payment as long as it doesn't exceed $15,000. So you'd fall well within that. And finally, let's talk about new construction homes, which is seems to be what I've been selling the most of lately. A lot of people have been moving to the area and really loving all the builders, all the options. I mean, right now there's 14 different builders I could think of in all kinds of different price ranges, whether you want in-city, uh, rural area, whether you want acre lots, when you want quarter acre lots, or even smaller. Um, a lot of them are very, very similar homes, vinyl homes. Some of them have the stack stone and the brick and all the arches and the accents, different elevations. Uh, you can get any kind of new construction home and the options are really endless. So far from what we've seen this year, the average home price, brand new construction home price, is about $428,839. That's so far this year. That would bring our approximate closing cost ballpark figure around $6,000, $6,432 to be exact. Our down payment would just be over $15,000 at $15,009, bringing our total due at closing to around $21,441. Like I said, we're talking about ballpark figure here, and that doesn't include whatever you put as your down payment. Now, the cool thing is with these new construction builders, a lot of them are from the get-go offering to pay a portion, if not all, of your closing costs you're also going to get a better interest rate typically because they're incentivized to use their own uh, lender so whatever money they require up front some of them require as little as 500 some of them require one or two or even three percent down up front and all of that money that you give up front would be a credit to you at closing subtracting from this twenty one thousand dollar figure and you're still going to pay your appraisal fee 600 bucks i've seen them four i've seen them 700 so 600 dollars that would be the average so i hope that made sense if you have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. The number on the screen is my cell phone number. It goes to no one else but me. By the way, I am gonna have a link to some homes that are currently available in the about section of this video. So feel free to go down there, hit that link and check out what's available in the Winston-Salem area. Also, I'm gonna leave you guys my social media handles in the about section of this video in case you wanna be my friend on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, any of the uh, popular social media networks, I'm on them. That's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.